double skelly onto the scatter shot at the same time but he never dies and look at that and there it is look at klaus he's giving you the eyes welcome back to the channel we have the next match in the creative master series between klaus and ESK and Bernal. Let's take a look at the bracket and where we currently stand. At the bottom left, Klaus, ESK, the winner of this takes on the winner of P. Castro and Yo Yo and Boom. If you guys see right here, this is the Twitch chat where you guys can tune in and watch these wars live. And the next match that's going to come after this is going to be Stars versus Benny and El Tano on Tuesday, March 8th. And then on Thursday, we've got Ast and Tryhard versus Mask and Chico. It's going to be a four versus four. Let's get ready. Let's go. ESK is in with the very first attack. Good luck. And the plan is going to be with some rocket loons. We've got 10 wall regular wall breakers. Sneaky goblins as well with the town hall to the top side. And we've got the rocket loons coming in to the bottom onto that mortar to push its way through. They do move their way to the archer tower. So that's nice to go down as well. It does. Did drop a hog. Probably want to test for the skeletons and Teslas down here. So the Flame Flinger is going to be clearing this bottom compartment with the Eagle Artillery down here. It's going to take some time, but there is the Skelly right there on top. Oh, a double Skelly onto the scatter shot at the same time. He's doing both to try to take out the CC, take out the scatter shot, take out the single target Inferno. Does he grab it? What? The scatter shot. No, it doesn't go down. Oh, we try to do two at the same time. But this one's getting repaired by the builder hut right here. Nice try to ESK. Did not get that double skelly donut at the same time. All right. Well, he can wall break his way into the town hall, but it is activated. Oh, no, he doesn't need to. There is an opening right by the arch tower to the top side here. And the Flame Flinger is still going, clearing that whole bottom side. But there's the rest of these Sneakies to take out this Town Hall. Invisibility. Wait, was there a, a small bomb? Town Hall? Oh, the Town Hall just went down right there, just barely. Okay, that was close. Here comes the Golem off to the right with the King as well. He's going to move his way into the Scatter Shot. And out comes Rocket Loons from the Flame Flinger here. And he's now dropping the queen off to the archer tower. She's going to be making her way up, potentially. There's regular wall breakers to break the queen straight on in. The king is unfortunately going around to the bottom side of the space. He's not going to the scatter shot where he wanted him to go. Rockaloo's coming out to the archer tower. We've got the warden ability coming, getting forced. But we still have the king ability. And we got more regular wall breakers trying to break this queen deeper into this base here. And the enemy queen, his queen's ability has been forced. She dies and sends a few headhunters. He's got Rockaloons, but it's looking to be a defense here. The Rockaloons definitely won't have enough. The Scattershot got healed back up to full health over there to the left side. Very nice try. Pops that King ability. At this point, he's trying to get the percentage. And remember, there is a voting at the end of the war, but if one team has two stars and percentage advantage, then the voting won't play a role in the outcome of the war. Because even if that one team got voted zero and the other team got two stars, they won't be able to make up that difference because of the percentage. A very nice try to ESK with just about 10 seconds left. Dropping a hog. We've pulling a ground skeleton. That's going to slow down the archer. Archer's going to die. It does grab the dark elixir drill right there. And we're finishing at... A 71%. Nice try to ESK. And there it is. Now Klaus is going to be up next. Klaus is in. Coming in on Bernal's base. Klaus has got himself some hogs, golems, wizard. He's got a mix and seven invisibility spells. And he's doing the Skelly Donut Bat Spell right here onto the clan castle. Onto the multi-target Inferno. Wants to take this down. Is he going to do another one? Let's zoom out here. Nope. The CC goes down. The Inferno Tower goes down. Oh, boy. While that's happening, he drops the Yeti to the bottom side. He's got Sneaky Goblins coming off to the left as well. Finding a double spring trap. Some small bombs onto the storage. And we're dropping some hogs. The balloon to try to take out the Archer Tower to the right. The Queen is down. Does not have a healer for her. Remember, this is very early in the morning. It's like 7 a.m. that he has to wake up. 
But they were playing the world's warm-up even earlier. And they won that, which was absolutely ridiculous. So Klaus, good luck. With that golem charging his way in, playing solo is not an easy feat. It's going to be difficult. Let's see if he can do it. Finding the Tesla farm with the, in front of the scattershot. These golems are going to really protect for the queen as she's trying to make her way in towards this base. Still has not yet used her ability. She's staying with that warden, being protected. King's ability has been forced, but the Tesla farm skellies really did a huge issue, a real problem right there. Dropping a skeleton spell to help distract that queen. Sneaky goblins are going, try to go for the town hall, but there is another storage. He only has six more sneaky goblins to use. Pulls a double giant bomb there to try to protect him. We've got golems coming off to the right side while the royal champion's moving in. Warden ability is still intact. Warden decides to follow the royal champion here, but this town hall is getting healed up. The log launcher is going solo by itself to the right side. The queen has decided to follow. The warden's getting locked on. The single target of... No, the owl actually got locked on. There's the advis on the snakeys at the same time. Everything's going through. Still has the warden to turtle tome to pop. But he, the royal champion died, unfortunately. And the warden's ability goes off. That was unfortunately missed and did not protect that royal champion. But the log launcher just opens. The queen is still healthy. Moving her way through. Hogs are getting dropped in. Has a skeleton spell and an invis. Is he going to get it? Is he going to dissect this base? Dropping the minor wizard across. i will take down the mortars. Needs to make his way through. Only 43 seconds left. He's got a wizard and another hog to use. The queen slowly making her way around. The golem is now tanking for this ground expo. He drops the skeleton far away from this multi-target inferno because that will absolutely shred through that skeleton spell. It's spawning some skellies, moving his way through. It's looking pretty good, but the problem is time. He's got a queen ability. He's got no way to get into this multi-target inferno other than to beat through the wall. And time is going to be an issue, but even though... It does not look like he'll three-star this one. He will still have the lead due to percentage, and that is huge. In this war, which is only a four versus four war, Ground Skeleton po pops up, uses the Invis, and it's going to be the 97% for Klaus. Very nice try. Did not get that one. Oh, boy. Bernal is in, and his plan of attack is going to be with nine healers and ten Rykaloons. Starting off with the Grand Warden walk to the bottom side. We've got that Battle Blimp to move into the right side. He's going to Rage and Clone. He's going to clone up the Yetis so he can really take out this section over here. Cloning that up with the Queen being used off to the right side as well. Hasn't dropped the healers just yet on her because you definitely don't want to do it too early. If the Queen's not taking damage, they'll run off to the Yetis and you'll lose your healers. It looks like we found a Tassel Farm to the bottom side down here. Queen's continue her way to the right while the Warden is going through. Queen's going to make her way to the top side. We have the Town Hall all the way up there. He does wall break. Here comes the Balloon. He's going to drop the healers for the Queen. He just does that to help try to find any Seeking Air Mines. But the Warden is going to slowly try to make his way to take out this Royal Champion. It's going to take quite a bit of time to get into this section. We got storages. We got a whole Tesla farm down here that the Warden can clear. The Grand Warden Altar is going to be hitting this Queen as she's approaching, but has not pulled out the Clan Castle. So we have to keep that in mind. Drops that Rage onto the Queen. We have to zoom all the way out to see everything that's going on. The Warden pulls some Ground Skeletons. The Ground Expo's on him. So that's going to be an issue. This Warden ability might be triggered unless he drops a Poison or a Free Spell onto it. No, the healers are keeping him up. Whoa, no. The Warden. No. The Warden ability was forced. He was late on the Rage Spell. And that's going to be a problem. He definitely did not want that Warden ability to go right there. But at least he's got him still alive. But that Queen is moving her way through. Does have another Super Wall Breaker. Trying to juggle everything at once. is such a difficult task with a Super Wall Breaker to break into the Town Hall compartment to open this section. The Royal Champion is coming in to join in with the Warden. But does not have the Warden ability. He's going to go down to the Ground Expo. To the Skellies. He's going to be gone. Dropping the Headhunters. But the Queen's going to get sucked onto this Lava Hound now. And the King has absolutely evaporated. Did not take that Town Hall down. But he drops some Rackaloos to try to take out that multi-target Inferno in the Cord. Which was hit his healers but the warden i thought he died but he's still alive he's moving his way through still the queen secures the town hall the royal champion's ability has already gone off with another three rockaloons to use to the backside but the royal champion has gone down he's got the minions around for cleanup 
And he's got two more Reckless to use to try to take down this Archer Tower. The Warden's doing a solo Warden walk still. The Queen is still up. It looks like he might still be able to pull this one off. Down that goes. It's a matter of time. What? Bernal? What in the world? You still are able to get this after a Warden accidental ability? But he never dies. And look at that. It is a three star for Bernal. What an attack. That was a beautiful recovery. Klaus is in looking to put a three star on the board. And he's coming in with 40 super barbarians. Klaus. Really? Okay. He's got some wall breakers using them on the outside to test for a tassel farm. So the wall breakers were there only to test for a tassel farm and ground skellies. And he's got sneaky goblins that are being used to the top side. But he finds some skellies. So he's got to be careful. They're running off to his flame flinger. He finds some more skellies running off to his flame flinger. And there's some barbarians trying to help take them down. Oh, he doesn't have a Valkyrie, so can't do splash damage. Uses some more barbs in this area to take them down. And the Flame Finger looks safe so far here. Moving his way through. But there is the Bat Spell. The Skelly Donut onto the Air Expo. The CC. The Skelly doesn't have enough. Another Invis. But yes, wait. What? The CZ gonna go down? Yes! The CC goes down! The bats are on! And the bats take out the scatter shot as well! The air expo and the scatter! Klaus, how do you do it? He's able to get both that value, and here comes the queen. Off to the left. While that's happening, he's sending his heroes to the bottom and the town is up to the top side by itself. So he's going to invest all the skellies, or the sneaky gobblers, I should say, to take that down. The flame flinger is clearing the right. The warden is joining in with his heroes to the left with the super barbarians coming across. King's ability goes off. The ice golem freezes up the multi. We've got a multi in the core and a single target testing right now. Oh, there's a tornado trap. He still has six more sneakies, but that flame flinger is looking perfectly fine. Clearing that whole right side. Royal Champion joins in with the fight. Sneaky Goblin's trying to go to the top side. He only has five more left with three more invisibility spells. He's got to drop some cleanup behind to help grab this stuff. There's the rest of the sneakies to go for the town hall. There's the invisibility spell to try to take that down. There's the warden ability. Protects the queen. The town hall goes down. Out comes a super dragon. Makes the queen invisible in the core. <sighs> My goodness. What? But he's got to drop a cleanup down here. There he is. He sees it. 50 seconds. And he's going to get it. The super barbarians all coming around with the swag freeze in the core. Moves his way through. And he's got the super dragon clearing off that final storage. And there it is. Look at Klaus. He's giving you the eyes. It is a three star. Let's put it on the board. Beautiful attack to you, Klaus. ESK. You got to put a three star on this board to keep pace with what Klaus is doing. It's crazy. Klaus has the advantage right now to think about that in this war. With seven bat spells, four golems, using sneaky goblins to take out this town hall. We're seeing a lot of sneakies being used to take out town halls to the edge. Sneaky's taking out the gold storages. It's going to be used to take that down and then eventually make his way into the town hall. There's the rest of the sneakies. He's got a few more to use. Is he going to then use it to take out the town hall? Oh, pulls a tornado trap, a giant bomb, small bombs. There's the rest of the, so another sneaky, which gets stuck by the tornado. Doesn't do too much there, and he's focusing on this part before he does anything else in the raid. Town Hall goes down. No, he freezes. He doesn't have an invis. Oh, the freeze is able to take the Town Hall down. I'm surprised why he didn't just take an invisibility. That was a little bit more risky there. With the poison spell to help clear this clan castle. No healers, so the queen is taking some damage from the archer tower here. We do have a wall break to the left side into this both two ground expos. Is that where he wants to walk his king all the way to that side? We'll have to see and then maybe send the royal champion in. But either way, we got some balloons coming in to the archer tower up top. We got some more balloons coming to the cannon. Just try to pick that stuff off. We're being patient here. We got seven more bats. 
Or not seven more. We got seven bats total to use potentially at the end of this raid. Balloons coming in for the bomb tower. Queen still making her way to the right side. Still has four golems. And now finally dropping the golems, the king, and the wall break to bust into this multi. And it looks like we have found the tassel farm up here. The queen is getting healed up slowly by her unicorn, making her way to the top side to join in with the king. The warden is going to help potentially pop that king ability, protect all the barbarians, the golems that are coming into this section as well. Where does he want to drop the bath? With the royal champion maybe down south here and the bath on top of the scatter? We'll have to be careful. There's the super wall break to break the next wall through. Pops the warden ability. Giant bomb, which protects the queen. Here comes the stone slammer for the multi-target inferno into the middle of the space as the queen cannot reach it. Two more golems still to use. He's being patient. Here comes the golem off to the right side. And another golem off to the left by that air defense. Where are the bats going to go? This, okay, he's going to rage up while that golem is tanking the wizard tower. He freezes the wizard tower now. Going to clear that area. The yetis came out of that. The wizard tower goes down. The royal champion is coming to the left while the scatter shot was distracted onto that golem. The bats are flying around. He freezes up the other wizard tower. The queen is still up, but only 20 seconds left in the raid is the problem. Time is an issue. RC's ability just goes off. The bats are disappearing. These air skellies are a big problem. And the balloons going for the Arch Tower. We still have that core. The single, the sweeper, the Grand Warden Altar standing. And this is going to be another defense for Klaus. ESK going to fall short. Very nice try. But only at 82% two-star right there with the next attack. Klaus, he's going in. He's not waiting. With sneaky goblins. Eight ice golems in the mix. Six bats. Rage, freeze. All right, how is he going to do this epic charge? Because we were watching the world's warm-up and everything was air. Now we're seeing the ground being used. We're going to be jumping into this attack kind of after it concluded because my stream did go down, so it cut out. So we're jumping into it now. I don't have the webcams for Klaus, ESK, or Bernal right now, but... Klaus is coming in with the seven ice golem. Wait, did he have? Uh, yeah, he had eight because there's one ice golem being used to the top side with that Grand Warden. And we have the six bats with a flame flare going to be used off to the right side. But he wants to invest these sneakies to go for that tunnel. We've been seeing a lot of this here with the sneakies locking onto the storage. It's going to make its way to the tunnel, pulls these traps, the small bombs, the skeletons as well. And Klaus needs to be trying to put up some three stars because if Bernal, ESK, they get another one, they are also looking to prefer some... Wait, hold on. Okay, he's dropping a few archers and barbarians. He doesn't have a Valkyrie in the mix because that would help a lot. That will do so much damage to your flame flinger. You have to watch out. And then sending some rocket loops in for the mortar, which would actually go for that flame flinger. And we've got ourselves a wall of ice golems moving in with the the king the queen the warden going through here and the wait hold on the sneakies are working onto the town hall they're gone he's got six left should be able to take that down there is the jump spell could have given him access straight into the middle multi-target inferno with some barbarians archers to the right side pops that warden ability but notice what he didn't do he didn't pop the king ability to help with that warden internal tome so that's gonna hurt a little bit you don't get that whole bonus but the sneaky goblins do take the town hall down and the ice golem in the far left gets sprung right there so the royal champion's trying to stay protected more ice golems coming off onto the point defenses balloon hog rider as well we got some tassels popping up in the town hall compartment there's the king ability was that king ability a little bit late we do have the hog riders coming out of the flame flinger now doing some damage down goes the scatter shot let's see but the ice golem's coming to come to the bottom by the cannon it's not going to go inside but the queen where is she i don't even see her wait i'm completely missed her she oh she died way early and the royal champion goes down using these ice golems to try to provide a distraction on the wizard tower as the bats are coming across towards the whole tesla farm which is doing a lot of damage and picking off these bats but he rages up but he's only got 26 seconds the bats are coming through can they get it hold on they are quick they are really fast here but the royal champion and it picks off these bats so it looks like klaus is going to be finishing just up with about 86 87 that's some good percentage because if this war comes down to a percentage 
tied up on stars that means klaus right now is having that advantage and there it is it is an 86 percent two star and now let's get back to the war the next attack is in bernal we had a hiccup but we're in bernal good luck let's see oh no we got the webcams all messed up hold on let's see if we can fix it let's see if we can fix it boom oh we're fixing it on the fly good luck to bernal we're trying to fix the webcams on the fly we're coming in. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Things going crazy. Where's Bernal's webcam here? Let's bring it in. There it is. We're back. Oh my. We're trying to multitask here. All right, we made it. All right, we're in. We're trying. Let's see what Bernal can do. So it's all tied up seven to seven. And he's with the queen taking out these lava pups. Okay, tunnel goes down. That's been secured. And we got the scatter shot that's locking onto this bottom side. Now the queen's gonna make her way to the wizard tower, the archer tower, and grab this value. We've got ourselves five more healers to use. Bernal really likes to use his healers, you know this, to get that value. He did a double charge before. We've got the balloon onto the mortar. We've got the golem still just going to be tanking for this queen as she's going to step in. Super wall break to break into the scatter shot. And we've got the king to the bottom side. And we're finding the tassel farm down here. And he's going to move his way through. More golems. Grounds or the skeletons popping up. They're really trying to stall him up. But the queen is going through. There is the jump spell to make his way to the scatter here. And we've got some time. The queen going into this, to the ground expo. Eventually going to make her way to the, the enemy royal champion. There's the freeze. Does get that off. He's got five more healers. Finally now drops down to the royal champion to the far right side. And there's the eagle artillery. Shoots. Hits the king. Queen's ability has been forced. And that's not good. You can see by his reaction. Pops that warden eternal tome through the eagle artillery. The air expo does go down, but he didn't take out this bottom compartment of the base. And that's going to be an issue. We have a few headhunters to use, but this is only going to be a low percent two star. So this is looking good for Klaus here in this war. And look at that. The world champion is still trying to make her way through. He knows this. And down goes that middle multi. The queen takes out the archer tower. And the multi goes down to the top side with the healers. He only got 27 seconds. Wait a second. Does he still have a chance? The Royal Champ's going. The Queen dies. There's definitely, definitely not time on his side if he's going to try to make his way through. The Headhunter's to the top. And we've got the Royal Champion just dying off here. And this is only going to be in the mid 80% range here. Nice try to Klaus. Not going to get that one. Or not to Klaus. To Bernal. Nice. The defense was nice to Klaus. I'm mixing everything up. Very nice try to Bernal. Oh boy, but now what's the score? Nine to seven. Klaus, you just need a 60% two star and you win this war right here to advance to the next round with a... A hundred barbarians and 28 archers in this attack. Using the lightning spell, the earthquake to try to help damage this area. Now the golem is tanking. The Grand Warden altar did not go down. So that is just barely up. He's going to make his way through. And look at the golem. Helps do splash damage when it dies. Down goes. Oh no, he didn't take out the ground expo. But we got yetis. We got the rage. The yetis could jump over the wall and grab the Warden altar. And he does just that. Remember, this is the final attack. He gets the percentage. He can win this war straight up. But there is going to be a voting as well. And we've got the king off to the right with a bunch of barbarians. The town hall is the complete opposite side. This could result in a one star. And that could be the difference in this war. Here we go. With the queen going towards the lava hound. Slowly going to be taking that down. We got the barbarians. We've got the archers on to the bottom side. We've got a yeti as well down there. Taking her time through this Lava Hound. Does use that poison spell as he's kind of making his way through a little bit. More barbarians, more archers coming across. 
And we've got the King's ability going off right through there. Making his way through to the town hall. He still has a Warden ability to use. A jump spell to make his way through to that side. Going to rely on this Queen. She does go to the bottom side, which now she can path directly to this town hall. He's getting the percentage. So if he takes this town hall down, it's looking like he will have percent. About 60%. That's what he needs. Still has the Royal Champion. He's got the invisibility spells to use to keep her alive. A minute, 20 seconds left. There's the rage. The queen is going in. And here it is. There's the warden ability protecting. Sends the world champion into the multi-target inferno. He still has 37 barbarians to use to protect. He's got the invis. He's got the freeze to use for the queen, at least with her ability. He's hit the 60%. He gets the town all down. He locks it up. The town all goes down. And look at that. The percentage will be on his side. The stars will be tied. But the Royal Champion pops her ability. It takes down a little bit more. 68% uses a few more bards. Klaus, a very nice try with all 100 barbarians. And he took the risk from the opposite side of this base. GG to Klaus. What an attack. Coming in. Only a 72% two star. It is not a triple here. But if we take a look at this war, the war has ended. Final result, nine to nine. Let's bring up the voting here. And as you see, we've got two bonus stars given to Klaus. But due to the voting on ESK and Bernal, there is majority are on the one star. So only one star will be awarded. So Klaus is going to get two while ESK and Bernal are getting one. But let's go ahead and go to the bracket and advance Klaus to the next round he will be waiting the winner of p castro and yo yo and boom and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did you guys know what to do make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below and check out the creative list playlist down the creative master series playlist i should say down there so you can see all of the other matches but hopefully you enjoyed see you next time